Regional grain traders and millers recently met in the Ethiopian capital at a trade facilitation meeting to not only discuss the grain situation in the Eastern Africa region, but also find solutions to the shortage being experienced in most of the region. You have some parts of East Africa that are surplus regions and the other uh, zones or regions of Eastern Africa that are uh, deficit regions. And so we would like to promote more trade of grains moving from the surplus production regions to the deficit consumption regions. At the meeting hosted by the East African Grain Council and the Ethiopian Chamber of Commerce, a total of 51 contracts were signed for Ethiopia to export 275,000 metric tons of grain to the various countries in the region at a cost of 5.5 billion shillings. Ethiopia had a bumper harvest uh, this season. Uh, they've recorded more than 4 million uh, metric tons of grain and they have more than, when you look, do their projections in terms of consumption, they have a surplus of over a million metric tons. More than 80% of these grains, most of which is maize, will be coming to Kenya. It will arrive in Nairobi at a cost of 3,300 shillings per 90 kilo bag, about 487 shillings cheaper than the current local average price of 3,787 shillings as per the Ministry of Agriculture's records. The ministry also reports that the country currently has only 15.2 million bags of maize, which is not enough to serve the country. A lot of grain has already been bought from Uganda and Tanzania in the last few weeks to help bridge the deficit, and those imports are expected to hit 665,000 metric tons by June this year. Yeah. Zainab Wandati, NTV.